Has someone ever told you that painful breastfeeding is to be expected? That your nipples just need time to adjust to breastfeeding and after a few days or a few weeks, it's going to get better? Painful breastfeeding is indicating that something isn't going well with the feeding. Welcome to the Milk Making Minutes. I'm your host, Lo Nigrash, an international board certified lactation consultant and a childbirth educator on a mission to decrease the barriers that make feeding our babies so difficult. So let's talk about painful breastfeeding and what to do when you feel pain while breastfeeding. So you're pregnant, you ask around, or people just give unsolicited advice about breastfeeding. And even here on the Milk Making Minutes, when you listen to Monday's episodes, you can hear a wide variety of experiences. And often people say, yeah, breastfeeding hurts in the beginning, but it gets better once your nipples get used to it. And I hear this all the time in the hospital as well, that people are experiencing pain, but they think it's okay because they expect some amount of pain in the beginning. This is a tricky subject to navigate because breastfeeding pain is normal in that many people experience it, but it's not normal in that it should be expected or it will just work itself out all of the time. So let's talk about where this pain comes from, why you need to seek out help when you are experiencing breastfeeding pain. As a clinician, knowing the type of pain you are feeling helps me identify the source of your pain and suggest remedies that are really going to help you given your individual situation. But most often, pain is resulting from either positioning that needs to be adjusted, and this could be the positioning of the feeding parent, it could be the positioning of the baby, or the latch needs to be adjusted. And this typically means getting the baby to have more breast tissue in their mouth, or there is some oral motor issue that is making it difficult for the baby to feed. And we can't know which thing this is without seeing you, either in person or virtually. So if you are in a situation in which you are experiencing pain and you are not able to resolve it, it really is critical for your long-term breastfeeding success to get professional help. Because an IBCLC can really help identify what is causing the pain so that we can suggest remedies that are going to make the most sense for your individual situation. So for instance, if you are experiencing a rubbing pain, this is most often as a result of not enough breast tissue coming into the mouth. So we know that when a baby feeds, they take in breast tissue and the nipple. And the way that the milk comes out is through compression of the mammary gland. If there is not enough breast tissue in the mouth for the nipple to go far back into the mouth, then what ends up happening is the nipple heads straight towards the hard palate and begins to rub on the top of the hard palate. And it creates a pain that can result in blisters, cracks, sore nipples all the time, not just when you're feeding. And there really does need to be an adjustment made in order to reduce that friction. When there is a when there is a great latch, enough brush tissue comes into the mouth so that the nipple goes far back into the mouth and and nipples are elastic. And if the nipple touches any part of the baby's mouth, it is rubbing on the soft palate, which does not create abrasions. Now, there are other sorts of pain that can happen. And depending on 
what type of pain you describe and what your nipples look like and what we see during the feeding, we can help you to determine which positions might help baby open wide enough or how you can position your own body so that the baby can get enough breast tissue in their mouth. And this is going to be very dependent on what your body type is, what your breast size is, what your breast size is compared to the baby, what the nipple size is compared to the baby's mouth. There will be different suggestions dependent on your unique needs, which is why going into a Facebook group and saying, I'm experiencing severe pain can be somewhat helpful helpful because one person out of 10 might give a tip that really helps you, but often that person is providing information which is unique to their individual situation and helped them, but without knowing enough background information, without having the clinical understanding of the various types of pain and what you do to remedy it based on the parent and the baby that we see in front of us, the advice that you get in the Facebook groups could just feel like it's the same information over and over again and is not relevant to your unique situation. You may notice that your baby, no matter what, is not opening wide enough or clicks or pulls off a lot. And depending on the other symptoms that we're seeing, there might be other remedies that we suggest. It may be that your baby needs to build up suction strength. It may be that your baby has limited mobility of their tongue. It may be that your baby has lots of head, neck, and shoulder tension, which might also be associated with some type of tension or tightness going on in the mouth. And your baby could really benefit from oral motor exercises or from body work from another practitioner. But without seeing a feeding, without hearing everything that's going on in your unique case, it really is difficult to provide advice that is going to help you remedy your pain. So here's what you need to do if you're experiencing pain. Don't let it last for longer than a couple of days. Sometimes pain works itself out as the mom and baby just get better at latching and the baby ends up getting more breast tissue in their mouth as they learn to do it. But if it continues beyond your stay in the hospital, reach out to a private practice, international board certified lactation consultant and IBCLC and book an appointment. This can happen in person or it can happen virtually. You would be surprised at how much help we IBCLCs can give you virtually. Um, I try to have a policy as much as possible to not touch moms and babies, A, without their permission, but B, if they are able to do what needs to be done to improve the breastfeeding situation without me touching them. And often having virtual appointments helps you to learn faster what you need to do because the IBCLC is not latching the baby for you. So if you are experiencing breastfeeding pain and you would like some help from an IBCLC, I would love to be the person who does this for you. You can go onto my website, www.quabinbirthservices.com and book your appointment. I would love to see you in person or virtually and help you feel so much better about your baby feeding experience. You should not and do not have to endure pain. Pain Pain-free breastfeeding is possible. So please reach out. I'll see you soon.